Right then, let me set the scene. It's September 29th, 2023. You're ripping open your new FIFA, you stick it in your console, and you get playing. And for the first week, first two weeks, first month, it's the best thing in the world. But then, the inevitable happens. You get bored of it. Ultimate Team isn't hitting like it used to. Your pals, they're not even playing pro clubs anymore. And you've done four career mode saves. You've signed all the new wonder kids. And it just becomes the same game as last year. And you catch yourself thinking, is this it? Is this all it is? Surely there is more to my FIFA life than this. But then all of a sudden on the horizon, you see something? <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's right, career mode king here with 10 career mode ideas that you have to try this year. If you're excited for the video, if you're excited for these ideas, make sure that you drop yourself a like right now. Or you've got any ideas of your own, I'm going to be doing an episode 2 of this, so make sure that you drop your ideas in the comment section below. Right then, as we get into this, you may know of some of these ideas already. You might have done them yourself before, but... What I'm trying to do is put a little bit of a spin on them. But I am telling you right now, you've never seen anything like the last two. Right, enough messing around then. Let's bloody start this list with number one is going to be rebuilds. Now I know every YouTuber and their bloody dog does a rebuild. But for me, it's all about the story. How about sticking the baggies back in the Premier League and trying to recreate their great escape? Bordeaux, winners of Ligue 1 in 2009, but now find themselves in the second tier of French football. Schalke, making it to the Champions League semi-final in 2011, but now having an absolute torrid time, and they are renowned for creating absolute wonder kids. So maybe a youth-centred career mode, and Genoa, the oldest club in Italy, haven't won a league title in 100 years. Can you be the one to take them back? to the pinnacle. The story certainly creates the best career mode experience, like bringing in some of your former wonder kids, some of the legends of the club, or even just making an absolute stack team and getting them straight to the Champions League. On this channel this year, we've done some sick rebuilds with some tremendous storylines. Which rebuilds would you like to see in FC24? Our next career mode idea it's a classic. It's an RTG, a road to glory. And you guys might think I just make these YouTube videos. Nah, I'm a proper fan as well, you know. And the man that does it better than all, does it better than me, let's face it, it's Barfy Boy. Taking a team from the very bottom of English football and taking them all the way to the upper echelon. Now, this sort of career mode really gets you to kind of connect with these players you can build up some of the youth players as well and once again some of the stories that you can create are oh, they're just unbeatable but just like other career modes these can become quite boring which is why i've set myself some rules for each one of the leagues that you go into now i will be talking about these rules a little bit more in my next video but just safe to say oh, they're a corker Next career mode idea then is Revival FC. Now this is where you take a load of failed wonder kids, some people that you would have heard of before, some people you probably haven't heard of, and you go along and you attempt to save their career. And the beauty of this one, you can make it as hard or as difficult as you want. Deli Ali has seen his football career tail off. Could you be the person to bring him back on track? Yo, Pierre, do you want to be involved in first-team football again? Or are you going to take Calvin Phillips from Manchester City obscurity and build your team around him? The possibilities with this career mode are absolutely endless. And the perfect thing is, every single year, someone has a bloody stinker. Someone goes off the boil. So we've got new wonder kids to revive once more. Right then, our next career mode idea, number four, is your player career mode. Now, I know, I know, I know, player career mode, it's boring, man. They never really change anything. Now, this is a way that you can make it more fun for yourself. First of all, you go to settings, you create your own player, and put him at whatever team you want. I've gone with Benfica here. Then, you take yourself over to career mode, but you don't pick player career mode. You pick manager career mode. 
once you've done that, you go over to the team management, you look at the formation, and that is the formation you have to play with. Now, you have to make a name for yourself at Benfica. Now, you'll know when it's time to move, because either you'll get a transfer offer for yourself, or you want to move on to another club with your manager. Now, what you do then is simply go and buy yourself on the transfer market. You get to enjoy player career mode, but also you get to do a little bit of wheeling and dealing in the transfer market as well. And when all said and done, obviously your objective is to win the major accolades in world football, get to a Champions League final. But this time, you can lock yourself to your pro or you can play as the entire team. I think this option just gives you the best of both worlds. It gives you the opportunity to create your own player, to play with your own player, but you also get to experience all the best things about manager career as well. And come on, let's face it. Who doesn't want to see themselves walking out and lifting the Champions League as captain of Man City? It just looks right, doesn't it? All right, then, my little cherubs are on to the next one. It's going to be number five, which is one very, very close to my heart. It's Creator Club. And if you've been around this channel for a while, you'll know exactly when I say Liso's AFC, you'll say you're the Kingfishers. Now, this one is pretty simply explained. It's exactly like an RTG, but you're creating your own team. But for me, it's extra special because it's named after things in your local area. Like your team name, it's a local school, a local pub. Your stadium name, it's your local park. Now, I've done this career mode three times all the way through and I've followed it to the end. Honestly, they have a special place in my heart. None more than the Lisos one that I did this year. It was full of goals. It was full of magic moments. It was full of developing players that I didn't even know of before starting it. And stuff like this as well. Ferguson. To finish. Yes! Ferguson! 86 minute. What a turnaround, boy. Come on. Someone's doing the mannequin challenge. Who bloody cares? Massive boys. Are we going to win it? We're not going to win it. How's that? Oh! Oh! oh my god! Boys, we've just done the absolute impossible! Honestly, I could watch that back every single day for the rest of my life and never get bored of it. Not to self promote or anything, but if you haven't watched that series, Get your ass back there and watch it right now. What have you been doing with your life? But genuinely, one of the best career modes I've ever, ever done. Right, enough of the nostalgia then, because we've got number six on the horizon. And this one is going to be create your club. Now, I know it's a bit of a technicality. It's slightly different to create a club. Now, what I'm doing here... He's creating my pals that I play at goals with. I'm not even joking with you. I spend time out of my day going back and recreating people with their boots, everything. And honestly, it just adds that little level of realism to the game that I just love. Now, again, this is another one of those career modes that's really scalable. Do you want a short-term career mode where you make your players absolutely incredible? Or do you want to make it a road to glory where you start out at a really low-level team with really low-level players and work your way up? It is totally up to you. Now, what you have to do, you have to make all of your players play for a certain team. And then you go into club transfers and you make them all free agents. Now, all you have to do is go into create a club, make your kits, make your team, get your boys ready, and then be the manager. Go and get all your boys, stick them in your first team squad, and play with your pals. Imagine getting all your boys, getting all the contracts sorted, giving them an absolute wedge, and sticking them in the first team. And then it happens one day, you on the wing, driving down, swinging a ball into your best mate. And they go and score a winner for you. It's another career mode that's given me absolutely hours of fun. Career mode number seven then is another one that's been on this channel beforehand. It's the Bankrupt series. We did a Bankrupt Barca. We did a Bankrupt Man City. Now, for this one, you do need an app or you do need just really, really good math skills. But I just use a budgeting app on my phone and give myself a debt of a billion 
hands. Now, with Man City, it was really easy. With Barcelona, it was kind of easy. But with some of the teams, that has been very, very difficult. But it really does force you to use different players. Play with players who you haven't played with before. And also to really change it up and freshen that squad that you've started with. But if you do need a full tutorial, just go back and watch more of the videos. Career mode number eight then. Oh, it's a controversial one. It's the Super League. Now, Super League is what it says on the tin. Stick all the best clubs into the Premier League and have an absolute scrap every single week. But now, here's where we switch it up a little bit because when you beat that club, you get to go and buy one of their players. Like I've done there, I've brought Eden Hazard back to Chelsea. Now, if you lose that game, so we've just lost against Real Madrid here, you then have to go to your squad and randomly select a player that you have to sell as quickly as you possibly can. We've landed on Rhys James here. So Rhys James at the club. So you can use him in a trade or you can just outright sell him to generate some cash and get one of the boys you've got on the transfer list into the club. Now then, people, this is where we start to get a bit juicy because number nine is the ultimate team career mode. This is a career mode I have never seen done before. But basically what you do, you go onto a pack opener website like a, a Wii Foot or a Foot Bin or a FIFA rosters and you open two bronze player packs. And then you transfer all of those bronze players into a team of your choice. So the team I'm picking here is LAFC. You stick all of those players over into that team and then you go and open yourself a silver pack. Now with all of those players 70 odd rated, you go and stick them in your team as well. And then you open yourself a gold players pack. Now you pick one, two or maybe three of these gold players depending on the level of difficulty that you want to go with. Then you go across to career mode and you set your team up. It's as easy as that and look at that absolute mismatch of players in that team there. But then this is where the challenge starts. So if you lose your game in the league, you have to choose another random player. So you can do it by using the wheel or you can just pick a random number generator. That number corresponds to a player and you have to stick them on the transfer list and get rid of them as soon as you possibly can. But if you win your game by one goal, you get to open yourself another bronze player pack. If it's by two goals, a silver pack, and by three goals, it's a gold. And if you smash someone by more than four goals, you get to go and buy one of their players in the transfer market. And then last but not least, if you go ahead and draw against that team, this is when it's a good idea to make sure that your youth academy is up to date because you get to release one of your youth academy players. Now, of course, it's called the Ultimate Team Career Mode because it's based around buying the players that you get in the packs. And you can only get the good packs if you win by more than a couple of goals. And every time you lose, you have to sell one of your players and they could be one of your top boys. It keeps it fresh and it keeps it exciting. Now we come on to the last career mode idea. It's number 10 and it's the culmination of two of our career modes. It's the Super Ultimate Team Challenge. It's the Super League and the Ultimate Team Career Mode put together. But this time, it's not just the Premier League that we're going to be using. It's going to be the Championship. It's going to be League One. And it's also going to be League Two. They're all involved in the challenge. Now, on the screen is all the teams that are used at the start of FIFA 23. So I will be making a new league setup for the start of FC24. But it's exactly the same as the Ultimate Team Career. You go ahead and open up two bronze packs. You open up one silver pack. And you open up one gold pack as well. All the bronze players go in. All the silvers go in. And you choose one, two or three gold players. Depending on, on your level of difficulty. And after that it's mega simple. Stick your boys into the formation that you like. Get out there on the pitch and start playing some games. Now, the rules are exactly the same as the Ultimate Team Career Mode. So, if you go ahead and lose the game, you have to randomly choose one player in your team to go ahead and sell. So, 32 here. We go ahead and find 32 on our team. 
stick him up for transfer. But if we go ahead and win the game by one goal, so it could be 1-0, 2-1, 3-2, etc, etc, then we get to open ourselves our bronze player pack. Now, in some of the bronze player packs, you're going to be very, very lucky. You're going to find yourself a silver player, but you can choose any one of these bronze players and bring them into your first team squad. Now, if you win by two goals, you will go ahead and open a silver player pack. And again, you can shortlist, you can scout, and you can buy one of these silver players. If you win by three goals, you're going to get in seriously lucky here because you get to open a gold player pack. And I'm telling you right now, it is an absolute must that you get in as many gold players in the first couple of seasons as you possibly can. And then if you wipe the floor with someone, you'll be able to go and buy one of their players. So for me, I went and bought Nabil Fekir because he was the best fit for us. Now that is the end of this top 10. Guys, if you enjoyed the content today, make sure that you drop me a like right now. Comment down below what you thought of these ideas and if you've got any career mode ideas of your own. And also get down there and tell me which one of these you want me to do when EAFC officially comes out. Guys, once again, absolute much love for the support that you're showing me. I will see you in a week's time. Much love and peace.